So this video is going to be showing you how to put on your um, LED lighting under your microscope. So this is the LED lighting I'm going to put on to this microscope. The In the box from M-Scope, it comes with a switch that turns on and off for the lighting and also adjusts the lighting level. This is a, a piece of connector between the lighting box and the microscope. So let's put the connector in. It should like, uh, when you do this be, be careful, the groove should be smooth when you switch twist it on and it should twist uh, counterclockwise direction. Well, you know, right hand rule. Don't do counterclockwise. Let's go with the right hand rule. Okay. So basically, uh, this part goes onto the microscope, and you see this groove. Let me just zoom in here. The groove over here, that's where these uh, screw is gonna be holding onto this part. Okay. Let's get the lighting. When this box, uh, light box comes in from the packaging, they screw these three screws really all the way down. So it'll take some time to get it out. Um, by the way, this is part of the opening box for the M scope uh, stereo microscope. This part is the LED light. Much? Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna try to get all three screw relatively even in distance. Otherwise, the light will be, uh, will be a little bit crooked um, to tour one side. It probably doesn't really matter all that much, but since I'm making this tutorial, I'm gonna get it as correct as I can. Alright. Just want, don't want to be uneven. Okay, so. The LED light comes out with a USB wire, it's a micro USB wire cable and this micro USB goes into the switch box you just plug in as such and you get a two prong uh, regular cable with the US version, the 110 voltage power cable Oh, that's what it looks like. And it goes into the light box. And that's it. That's that's all. Um, what's inside the box for the LED lighting for your stereo microscope? This uh, LED lighting could also be used in other stereo microscope because the screws are adjustable. As only the connecting piece um, here, the plastic piece I showed you earlier, the first one. This is probably um, customized for M scope microscope only, but then again, you can always just screw this tighten onto any stereo microscope or non stereo microscope. Now, let's plug this in and let it be light. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is gonna put the iPad 2 larger bowl under the microscope and I'm gonna light it up, turn on. So just switch somewhere. 
Oh, God. Excuse me, I forgot to plug this in. So the uh, USB cable goes into the light box. Let's try this again. So turning it on. Now the USB cable is plugged in, plugged in, and power is being plugged in. Turning on the light switch. And adjust. Right now the dial is at minimum, so I can adjust this to. Uh, now it's at one, two, three level. Let me turn on the overhead. Turn off the overhead lighting. And as you can see, this is only at the three. Three out of uh, seven degree lighting. This is five out of seven. And now we are at eight out of. Oh, sorry, eight out of ten. I'm reading it wrong. Eight out of ten degree. So let's do this again. One out of ten, two out of ten, five out of ten, and this is eight out of ten lighting degree, and this is the maximum at ten out of ten lighting. Turn this to the other side so this cable doesn't bother. Okay, there we go. Pick it up. And you just hide this uh, light switch box. It's probably best to just leave it on max. I mean, you need all the lighting you can get, right? And it's very nice that this is a LED instead of traditional um, microscope lighting. That's put, it's usually powered by halogen and projector lighting. Those traditional um, microscope lighting are used in surgeries and laboratories. Uh, those are this can burn. Those can burn your hand, but the LED is safe. You can touch. It's not hot. It's light. Um, it's cool. And it looks beautiful under the ink. I, you can't really see because I'm not putting the um, my camcorder over. Alright, let's do this. Open the larger boy. Let's see if I can put the camera over the microscope. Let's try this. So as you can see, it's really bright. I still have like the ceiling light on, um, just not the, just not the overhead light. And I'm gonna try to align this through the microscope lens. I think this is actually too bright. For, oh, there we go. We're getting something. Let's try this again. We're getting something. There we go. So you can see. Okay, so if you're looking through uh, your eyes instead of naturally with your two eyes, instead of this uh, concorder, you can see a much bigger image, like such. It's a very actually very clear and big image, and this microscope, if I remember correctly, it can zoom in from times seven to times ninety. So this is this is what a stereo microscope, a, a well semi-professional, semi um high quality stereo microscope can do. You know what? Um, I actually had used a surgical microscope that's using the OR. It's not that different actually. This is pretty nice. Um, those microscopes that they're using the OR cost like probably twenty or thirty, maybe even hundred thousand microscope. It's those are very very expensive and they are usually made in Germany. I don't know what M scale is made out of. It's probably made in China, which is not really a problem since everything's made in China nowadays. If something's not made in China, I probably will question it. It's like it must be something wrong with it if it's not made in China nowadays. Anyways, um, I'm very happy with the quality of this microscope. It only cost me um, $700 I guess, $700 to $800. And I also bought the the USB camera uh, video concorder that came with the ca uh, stereo microscope. That's probably why it cost $800. But if you opt out the camera option, the stereo microscope will probably cost within the $600 range. Uh, that's 600 US dollars. I got my from Amazon. So um, I like buying from Amazon because you can always test out the items and if there's anything wrong with it, you can always... Um, the Amazon has a very good return service. So 
but this is a keeper as you can see okay let's move this larger ball and see this one this larger ball has been workaround um, that's why you can see all that uh, flux residue let's find a clear area and zoom in um, so this is a good area and maybe I should turn down the lighting a little bit so you can see better so so basically this is this is the view that you're seeing with only my ceiling light which is not all that bright without the uh, LED lighting turning on now I'm at, now it's a minimum um, lighting adjustment and oh excuse me Just have to hold it it's not the light it's the camera that I'm holding it has to be aligned properly ah right, there we go okay there we go um, so this is without the without the LED lighting. Now the LED lighting turning on, turning on, and turning the dial up. Now this is our maximum lighting. Okay, now it's our maximum lighting, and I'm gonna turn on the uh, overhead projector. Well, now overhead lighting. You can see the click. And turning on and turning off. As you can see, um, this lighting doesn't overhead lighting. I used to use for my other microscope it did nothing to affect the maybe you can see a little bit of light fluctuation um, it doesn't really affect the lighting at all it doesn't make it any brighter on top of this uh, LED microscope but LED lighting between the stereo microscope you can see okay and this is the iPad 2 touch FPC connector and with this microscope, you can zoom in and you can examine the pins. Right now, you, you don't see it very big, but trust me, when you're using this microscope without um, having using the, using the camera view, you can see a very, very detailed image just by your eyes, not with the camera. I guess the camera is doing a pretty good job too. So, so yeah, you, could, you can see very fine detail. This is a... Uh, 0 0.0 millimeter peach so in between those two pins it, this is a point z 0 0.3 millimeter distance that's how, how small these peach are like the in between distance and you can see very very well detail with this microscope okay that's basically it basically it for the review of the lighting I'm gonna do another review for just the microscope and thank you for watching you can look out for my other videos see um, the soldering done with this microscope once the video camera is set up goodbye now